welcome everybody. We're, we're recording right now. Yay! We're at Zoom, and you know what this means when we say it's uh, Thursday. It's Emily Arm Albright, Art with Albright Day. Yay! I'm so excited, and we're we're doing a we're trying a, uh, an experiment to record. And hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. We're, oh, look at Art with Emily. She's putting her puppets through the screen. That's hilarious. I love it. Wait a minute. Me, me, uh, can you you can spotlight it yourself, right, Emily? Oh, let's see here. Yes. All right. So I'm, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I beat you. Well, everybody, let's <laughs> let's spotlight uh, Emily's face so she can say greetings to everybody. Oh, 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 oh I, I love that. that. I love your puppets. I love Wait, your puppets. I thought we did spotlight. What happened? There you go. There's her face. Hi. There we go. He, he wants my face. All right. Yay. Look at that. She, Hi, look at everybody. <laughs> so this is Emily Albright, Art with Albright, her weekly special Thursday. Hey guys, today we're going to do some fold out art. Are you ready to do some art today? Some creative art today? Well, let's see here. You're going to need um, some paper. I like to use cardstock or thicker paper. Okay. So that way when I when I use my markers, it doesn't bleed all the way through, okay? If you use a, a normal piece of paper, you might not get the same um, effect that we're looking for. So um, let's see here. I'm going to be using markers today. You can use markers, colored pencil. You need a, a full piece of paper, okay? You, know, you need a full piece of paper, not a, not a cut up piece of paper or half sheet. You need a full size eight and a half by 11. Okay, so everybody run, get your big piece of paper, get your colors. Yes, ma'am. Let's see here. There we go. Does it have to be white? Um, let me show you what we're going to do so ready? you decide. Oh, okay. I did want to Look, are you ready? We're going to do an owl, but not just one. Two owls! Ah! Oh, I love that. I love it. Do you love it? Okay, yes. so you decide what color paper you want to use. I'm going to be using white because I have a ton of it. Okay, I have white paper. Now, last week in my class, we did, we love Pusheen. Who loves Pusheen? Anybody? I know who loves Pusheen. Yes, well, Pusheen. this one we did last week because my kids, yeah. when we do school, we love uh, Pilates balls to sit on. <laughs> we don't sit on chairs in my house. We sit on pshoom. Pilates balls. So we did this one and I'm going to get that one on my keepdrawing.com uh, website as soon as possible. But let's see here. I got to clean my desk. I've been working on so many projects. Um, we're going to be, yes, ma'am, Clacy. Okay. Yes, Una, those are perfect. Are they open? Are you ready to open them? Okay. Everybody have all your supplies. Give me a thumbs up. I don't know where my thumbs up are today. Give me a thumbs up. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, look, it's the invasion of the green guys. Ah, so look at this. This one's done in colored pencil. Okay, colored pencil, marker. So you're going to have a different look to your uh, finished product depending on what you use. Okay, so you decide now. If you don't have brown, you don't need brown owls. You can have purple owls. You can have green owls. Whatever color makes you happy. Okay, does anybody have a favorite color? Favorite color, shout it out real quick, ready, set, blue. There we go, mine was blue. Do you like blue? No, oh, I love blue, I love blue. And later today, guys, in my, in my class, we're gonna be doing another green guy. Ah, surprise, I let you in on a secret. Let's get this folded. Everybody have your supplies, right? Okay. So let's fold, let's fold this. I have the hiccups. Who gave me the hiccups? Jonathan, you're always giving me the hiccups. I have them again. So what we're gonna do is notice my paper is up and down, okay? So it's vertical, not like this. No, 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 you want it up and down. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and fold it toward you. You just want to fold it toward you and crease that really well. Get it nice and creased. Grab a pencil, grab something, your marker, and rub that down. So you should have a nice card. Wow, that's so nice. There you go. You got a card, right? So if it's opening up to you, 
you're gonna take your fingers and you're gonna fold this back. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, I don't wanna go too fast. And you're going to let it reach right back here. I know some of you are pros because you've been in my classes a few times. So we're taking the front piece, folding it back, touching that edge, and just pressing it down. So now we have half a piece of paper, okay? Make sure that is a crisp edge. Make sure it's nice and crisp. Got it? Everybody got it? Yes, 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 perfect. Oh, excellent. Okay, so now we're gonna keep it closed, making sure you have that flap at the top, okay? Don't flip it around, don't do sideways, don't do upside down. Don't let it be a monster trying to eat me. Okay, come down on that. Yes, ma'am. Open it up. Let me see. Do you have it correct? Where you said yes, Una, correct. Yes, everybody. Good job. Yes. Okay, let's get our pencil. Grab your pencil, grab your eraser. That's all you need today. Oh, I better take a look at what we're drawing. I've been drawing so many things today. It's just crazy. It's a crazy day. So I'm gonna put my finger right in the middle. Right in the middle, okay? Now I'm gonna put a big owl um, eyeball on the left, and then I'm gonna put a big owl eyeball on the right. Well, we're just using pencil right now. We'll add color later. Right now we wanna make sure we get every piece of our owl together, and we do that not once but twice. I'm working on a couple of new fold out art pieces like minion art and uh, what was the other one I had? Oh, I have um, my, uh, these are toys. I just totally went blank on what these are called, Zoom Zooms, my Zoom Zoom toys and uh, having a lot of fun with them. Now let's make sure the beak stays above the flap, okay? Everything we do needs to stay above the flap right now. So I'm going to start between the eyes and I'm gonna draw a nice little beak coming down. I don't wanna go below that line, okay? Don't go below it. Stay above it. Stay above the line. Don't go down below. Oh, nice, I love it. That's a good beak, good eyes too. Now inside the eyes, let's put um, our pupil. Okay, can we have some pupils here? We want pupils, reflective spots in there. Let's make sure we get some reflective spots in there. Whoa, there we go. Okay, you ready? So from there, we're gonna start right in the middle above our eyeballs. Beautiful, Clacy. Look, look at you. Love it. And I'm going to pull out the little horns. This is a horned owl. I know we've, uh, in my art classes, we are owl fanatics. So we've drawn a barn owl, a snow owl. Oh my goodness, we've drawn so many owls. But this is the horned owl that we're drawing today. So those are in my advanced classes that we do. We do a lot of birds. We have bird lovers in my in my advanced classes. Now we're going to pull this out the other side as well. So now you've got those really cool horn feathers. Beautiful. Look at you. Love it. Love it. Now below that, we're going to have a couple of extra. I'm not going to draw too many details with my pencil because I want to leave that for my color. Okay, you see how we're going to add a lot of color to our creature. Now watch this, we're gonna come down on both sides curving, and we want to bring these little uh, like cheeks underneath the eyeballs. Okay, yes, you did awesome. Awesome. Good, good, good. And then we're gonna start creating the bottom section of the bird that when we open it up, we can just do the second bird on the on the branch, okay? <laughs> I really like when we drew the owl yesterday. What, when did we draw an owl? Like Tuesday or something? You called him Owlbert. 
Remember? Oh, we painted. We watercolor painted an owl. He called it Owl Bert. I thought that was hilarious. My dad was impressed. Okay, let's hold on a second. Let's let's create the, the bottom section of our bird. So let's pull down the sides of our bird. So curve these down. Okay, curve those down. Not too far. We've got to have a branch down here now. We want a little branch for our little birdie to sit on, right? There we go, a little branch. So what do we want to do? Let's go ahead and draw that branch across the bottom section of the paper. I'm not going to go all the way because I want to have some um, leaves over there. So I'm going to have a really thin branch at the bottom, okay? Good. Good, good, good. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Yes, ma'am, I will wait one second. Gotcha. So with, with your branch, you can sketch on some contour lines and put your leaves on there so you know where you want a couple of leaves. Now you can always add extras, okay? We don't have to um, do everything I'm doing, but in order to get the owls to sit on top of each other, um, I think they're trying to reach the, the fruit on the top of the tree. Got you, Una, thank you. Good, Jonathan, that's looking so good. He, he's in my fold-out art class, so he knows how to do these fold-out art pieces we create, huh? Uh, let's look at the middle of our bird at the bottom. We're going to put really cute feet down here. So I'm gonna take my eraser and erase that top line just a little bit in the middle, okay? Una, when we have a break, I'm gonna ask you for your joke, okay? I, so remember, don't forget. Don't forget. Now that I said it, you're going to forget. Huh? Got you, Clacey. Got you. I like it when you guys are really nice to hold up your finger, but keep working. Don't stop working. Just keep working. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. You are super cool. I remember drawing this one. What did we draw? The Ninjago. We do these in my Thursday my Thursday adventure class or draw classes, right? We have, we have way too much fun. Today we're opening Disney toys, the mystery Disney toys today at four. I'm like, woohoo! I get excited when we open crazy things and draw whatever we see. It's so awesome. So down here, I'm gonna put my finger right in the middle. So that means I need a foot on this side. So do a giant letter U. Do a giant letter U and then bring another letter U out on each side. See how I did that? I want these feet to be really big because he, he has to hold up his buddy. So his feet are really gripping that tree trunk or tree branch. So I have three toes and three toes. So how many do we have, Jonathan? How many toes do we have? 10 toes, wait a minute, think about it, you got it. Ah, how many toes do we have since, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I put Jonathan on the spot, he wasn't even listening, he's drawing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna curve the bottom of my bird just over, over his toes. We'll add some color down there and some feathers and we'll just have a lot of fun with it. Okay, so keep your, keep your bird closed, we're still working on this. We need a wing to come out the side. So pull some zigzag lines down the side. Zigzag it, there you go. And for the belly, let's do um, some zigzags on each side, giving this uh, bird some really beautiful uh, chest feathers. We love it, we love it. That's absolutely adorable. Adorable birds. So now that we've accomplished creating this, when we open, we need to create the top of this bird down here and then the bottom of that bird as well. That looks good. Woo! Watch out. That looks awesome. Look at that. Love it. You guys are awesome. Awesome sauce creators. Look at you. Okay, let's open it. Everybody give me a give me a giant smile 
on your face if you're ready to open it. I'm gonna zoom in to the top bird. Let's do the top bird. Now I'm going to just mimic what I did at the bottom. I'm gonna pull down just a little and I'm gonna try to bring it to this line where this fold is, okay? Do you see this middle fold? We're gonna try to bring it there. We're going to, we already have the wing started up here. We're going to continue the wing down the side on both sides. We're just continuing that down. And then we're gonna leave this bird alone for now. Okay, because so we're gonna add the head to this bird down here. I didn't know we were dissecting birds today, but we really are doing a good job. We're doing awesome. <laughs> I'm a homeschool mom. We do all kinds of weird things in my house. <sighs> yeah, watch out. You're 17 for me. Woo! I cannot even imagine. Oh, good job, Jonathan. Good job. I love it. 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 Okay, here we go. Let's do the bottom bird. Okay, let's do the bottom bird. Note, we already have the bottom section, so we're going to create this. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. So bring this part of the body up, and we're gonna have to go up pretty high. Okay, this, this bottom bird is gonna be taller than the top bird. Okay, so bring it up just a little. We can always erase a little, it's okay. And what we wanna do is right, right under this line. We don't wanna have a lot of detail where there's a fold, okay, that's the tip when you do the fold art or the pop-up art is you don't want all the detail where there's a crease. So we're gonna make sure the eyes are going to be underneath that crease. You see what I'm saying? Stay under that crease and put your eyes on there. Now inside your eyes, what do you need? You need the pupils, you need reflective spots, right? You need those. Make sure your reflective spots are in the same direction. Don't go opposite. You know, have a cross-eyed bird. Blah! That'd be silly, cross-eyed birds. Blah! Now let's go ahead and give a nice beak uh, down here to this bird. I'm gonna do a different beak. So this one's looking straight at us. So we know how tall this bird needs to be, right? So let's continue the, the chest. Oh, wait a minute, let's do the eyeballs. Hold on, back up. Let's erase this area here. Now what we wanna do is take the middle, right in the middle, and remember, be careful of that crease. You either go above it or stay below it, okay? I'm gonna go above it. So I'm gonna take this bird above and come out. Remember, we're putting the nice um, horns on our horned owl on both sides. Kinda of looks a little higher on one side than the other. There we go. Beautiful. I love it. And then we're gonna put some dashes down the side because we're gonna put the detail in with our color. Now this bird, we wanna drop down and come around those eyes. And now we can finish the side of the bird. We can do the wings down the side make sure not to mess up the bottom of the bird. The bottom of the bird has to stay that way. When we close it, it has to match up. So make sure that when you close that, it still looks like a complete bird. And then we can take the, the chest feathers and match those up as well. So let's erase a little tiny bit right here. And I gotta make sure I drop it below the line or above the line, okay? So I'm gonna do a little toe here and then wrap the toes on each side around. See how I did that? Then I'm gonna do it over here as well. I need to erase a little more of the head because I don't wanna erase. I'm going below the line, creating these 
little um, tap. Do they have talons? I think they have talons, like eagles and big birds and hawks. Yeah. Okay. I thought we learned that in in our owl classes. <laughs> Wonderful. Look at that. So bring your bird down. Um, connect it between. And let's see. I have my my feathers for my wings. Oh, this one needs his chest feathers, right? So let's do that. There's a lot of detail to this little um, guy on the top and on the bottom. We're just gonna do some V's coming down. And I'm gonna just end it right there. I'm just wrapping it around. This one, I brought it all the way to the belly. So now the real big test is, guys, when you close it, do we have one bird? So that way we have the shock value when we show our friends, hey, look at what I did, a bird <gasps> with his best friend. What? I love it. Yay, that looks really good. Look at you, look at you. I love it, I love it. Okay, show me. Yes, you guys did awesome. Look at that. I'm gonna be using markers because they just show up super, super awesome. And I grabbed, um, you don't have to do brown. You can make your owls any color you want, okay? So I have a couple of different brands. So you may or may not have the same numbers as I have, but there you go. Um, I'm gonna just use some brown, some peach, yellow and black, and some green. So you're welcome to use colored pencils, crayons, uh, today we're not going to do paint. We're not doing paint. So uh, I do paint on Saturdays and Tuesdays. And so I'm going to just go ahead. You don't have to stick with me. Uh, this is the part you guys, I lose you because everybody's on their own little mission to, to get their, their owls complete. But remember when you do it, you have to have it the same coming down. Okay. So when you close your card, your fold out art, make sure that it's the same here and flows down. So I wanna make sure I have all that connecting. So that's the key to our puzzle here. The key to the puzzle is connecting that, okay? Perfect, perfect, you guys are awesome. I have no doubt you will, will be doing awesome and amazing with this. You will have some great ideas for me too. You inspire me. Whoa! Love it. Here we go. Let's see here. And I'm just going to fill in my space with straight lines. I'm not going to scribble. Uh, so, and then if you want, take it, um, take it again and go over it in the, in the section and just add your shading. Okay, you can do your shadows. Uh, you can do your shading um, by, using, really cute. by using those colors. So, I mean, right here, instead of white for his belly, I use purple to shade it. So colored pencils are a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And you can, um, oh my goodness, you can shade with any colors that you have. So, I mean, it's all in just coloring. Instead of just going over one spot over and over and over, you go real light and you take it in one direction, okay? I mean, you don't have to have those um, because everybody likes a different type of tip. Some like soft tips, some like harder tips. It's just personal preference, that's all it is. That's why there's a million brands of art uh, supplies out there. So once you find what you like, that's when you're a happy artist. I found a few things that I like and kind of kind of in a rut when you get when you get there. So, so yeah. Awesomeness. Here we go. I think I shall put this on my YouTube videos channel, whatever I have. Mr. Mark inspired me a couple of years ago. He said, you need a YouTube channel, get one, get one. I was like, yes, sir, I will. I love that challenge. I think for my owl, I'm gonna put yellow eyes. 
And yellow is beautiful for, I wouldn't want to see them in the dark, <laughs> right? Woo! It's one thing to see your animals in the middle of the night, but an owl, ooh, that would be pretty crazy. Some oranges here. What did I pull out for my beak? There we go. Look at that. Not a problem. Especially on this fold here. It's to be a problem. But take it smooth. There we go. So I'm just doing I'm just doing a couple of different areas, um, and then I'm going to fill in the whole bodies with brown here at the end. And then I like to outline, just to give some more detail for my owls. Just make it pop just a little bit more. Oh, here we go. There we go. And how do you add shading with marker? I take the same color I have and just go over it two or three times. Where it is? There it is. Um, and that way I can create a little bit of a shadow showing some depth there. So add a little extra. Um, I'm going to do my toes where I know there's a little bit more shading to show that depth. I'm going to add a little more. Uh, I did the beak. There we go. That's cool. My markers are rolling off my desk. Anybody else have that problem? They are taken off. I like to use my big giant erasers to use them as stoppers. I like that. What are, you're warming them up? What are you doing, Miss Melody? I was trying to tell you they're triangular so they don't roll. <laughs> oh, there's no care. Oh. Okay, now I know what I'm asking for my birthday. No. <laughs> you just have to get more, more art supplies. Oh my goodness. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, art supplies are hard to find right now, I have to say. Hard to come by. Everybody's crafting and creating. That's hilarious. Triangle markers. I have never seen that, but now I've seen it all. Okay, I every once in a while keep closing my owl just to make sure that I'm not going where I shouldn't go. Okay, I'm just making sure I don't want to you know, once you use marker, you can't go back, right? That's why we like to draw in marker first and then go back. I think I need some eyelashes on my, on my owl here. Owls have beautiful eyes, don't they? Oh, that's not it. I don't know where it is. Maybe my daughter's too off with them. <laughs> Now we like to do the tangled birds. Let me show you some of my birds. We did this one last, what did we do last week? We did, uh, we water, this was the one we did last week. What are you doing? Now I put leaves on the branches, uh, reflective spots. Now I love to put reflective spots with a different medium. So I get a, a paint pen, or colored pencil or something that shows up on my marker that I'm using. And I like to embellish just a little more because life is fun when you can embellish, right? That's what I say. Life's better when you embellish and you can have a little extra fun. How long have you been drawing? Um, I started drawing when I was little because um, my teacher wouldn't let me draw with my left hand. She said I had to be a right-handed. So <laughs> I, I know back in the day, so I'm really a left-handed person. So I started watching Mr. Mark on TV when I was like 11 or 12 years old. And so I've been drawing and self-teaching myself all these years. I took a few art courses along the way and I enjoyed it.
but um, I think it was four years ago I met Mr. Mark and he told me I needed my own YouTube channel and asked me to work with him and so I was like okay. So he kind of launched me into teaching children how to draw because I really loved and inspired. Thank you Clacy. that was like wonderful memory trail that I just went down so thank you very much. <laughs> That's awesome. So, yeah. I love hearing that story, Emily. <laughs> Emily, I love hearing that story. Lots of details and finish it up. That's wonderful. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for, for joining us. I'm going to 